Hello friends of .NET, I'm Emil Landworth and you can find me on Twitter at TerraJobs. So in this quick video I give you the high level summary of what happens in .NET 5 because I've seen some confusion about what actually happens with all frameworks and how does this all fit together. So at Build we showed you this um, nice animation here with uh, our vision for .NET 5 and so basically what we want to do is we want to build a unified platform where you can build any kind of application with the exact same stack. So whether it's a mobile app, a cloud service, a Windows desktop app, or console apps, it shouldn't really matter. You should just choose .NET and it does everything you need it to do. But of course we have three frameworks today. So we have .NET Framework, .NET Core, and then Mono slash Xamarin. And so the question is, when we have this animation, what actually happens to those? So for .NET Framework, we already announced that .NET Framework is done. So done is not the same thing as dead. So Windows XP is truly dead, meaning you don't get security updates for it. Thus, if you have anything running on Windows XP, you should, as fast as you can, move off of Windows XP and uh, move to Windows operating system that is supported. .NET Framework remains supported. So it will remain in Windows. It will be supported for as long as Windows is supported, um, which means you get security fixes, so there's no reason to panic. However, you should not expect any new features. So if you want to use the latest version of C-sharp or the latest APIs that we have, then you have to move to .NET Core. For .NET Core, logically, you know, if you ship the new version, we would call it .NET Core 4, right? Because we're currently in .NET Core 3.1. Um, we also had the plan to take the mono Xamarin parts uh, and merge them with .NET Core. And when we looked at this picture, we said, well, since .NET Framework is not creating a new version anymore, Maybe it just makes sense to just simplify the branding and just call it .NET. And then since 4.8 is the current version of .NET Framework, let's avoid any confusion and let's just jump 4 and just go straight to 5 to make it clear that this is the successor of .NET Framework. Um, the only other thing that we changed because of COVID and other things, we don't actually do our mobile migration in the .NET 5 timeframe. So this is uh, postponed to .NET 6. Uh, so in .NET 5, there is no uh, mobile bits in yet, uh, but the vision is still the same and it will just mean it will happen for the .NET 6 version of the platform. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this useful and hopefully cleared, cleared a few things up for you. Bye-bye.